Hi, this is Nick, Gadget Man of the Finger Lakes, and today we're starting off a uh, study with a product called Hotto. Um, this is a product that has been tested by TUV. If you can see down in here, it says um, it's going to reduce emissions and reduce, uh, reduction of fuel consumption, increase of engine power, increase of compression pressure. So we're going to try this product. It's going to take three tubes of this and I, what I want to do is show you the baseline before we start uh, putting this product in the engine of the car. Okay, so first of all, here's the baseline for mileage. 23.2 miles per gallon. 2,693 miles divided by 116 gallons. That's our pre hot baseline. And now I'm going to show you the uh, five gas analysis of the emissions prior to that. Okay, so now we're going to look at the five gas emissions of this uh, vehicle that we're going to test. This is my daily driver. It is a 1997 Subaru Legacy Outback and um, has about 150,000 miles on it. And here's our five gas readings uh, on this engine. No modifications have been done to this engine. The plan is to do this Hado uh, modification or addition to the engine and then to go forward and do the Gadget Man Groove and see what our total results are. So we'll come back uh, in a number of days when this uh, auto uh, treatment's done. It's going to take three tubes, and then we'll see what the uh, mileage is and the five gas emissions are after uh, a fairly, fairly substantial amount of miles. So see you then. Hi, folks. Uh, this is Nick, Gadget Man of the Finger Lakes again. And it's about a month later, and here's our post auto mileage. We've got 1,404 miles, 57 gallons of fuel, that's 24 and a half miles per gallon. Our pre was 23.2, so we gained 1.3 miles per gallon. Okay, Noah. Okay, so here's a summary of uh, the HADO results for our 1997 Subaru Legacy Outback um, with a 2.5 liter engine. Uh, the engine has over 150,000 miles on it and uh, for the emissions hydrocarbons went from 281 parts per million to 225 so that means there is less fuel um, escaping the engine, more is being used in the engine carbon dioxide 1.2 to 0.56, a dramatic reduction. Carbon dioxide, 11.8 to 9.9. .9. Oxygen increased, 2.5 or 2.7 to 4.5. That means there's more oxygen available because less was needed to burn up the extra hydrocarbons. NOx went from 41 to 32, and the air fuel ratio increased pretty dramatically 15.6 to 18.4 that means uh, there is more air available and less fuel um, we also gained 1.3 miles per gallon uh, with this auto treatment so there you have it folks uh, uh, it looks like this oil additive uh, does provide really good results as far as performance um, the vehicle feels much smoother, like there's less resistance in the engine. And um, I don't know if there's a horsepower increase or not because I didn't put it on a dyno, but it definitely runs smoother and we got these excellent results from uh, a hot treatment on the Subaru Outback. So see you, see you folks later. Bye-bye.